Come on. Come on. <laughs> Give me those legs. Give me those legs. Come on, Alex. You ready? Want to go outside? <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Can you snap me in, Josiah? Clip me in. Oh no, we're going. Some socks on too, don't you? <laughs> you asked for socks. <laughs> I guess I did. You put some socks on. All right, mommy, help me out. All right. Here, boy. Put some socks on the bird. For all the moms and grandmoms out there, he now has socks on. Even though he doesn't like socks, he tries to get the socks off as fast as he can. <laughs> yeah, he normally do. Okay, there's some socks. All right, we're almost ready. Little guy here normally doesn't like to have a hat on. He normally rips it off. It's cold out here, so you want to try the hat on again? We'll just try. Try one more time. All right, keep that head warm. It's your tail. See, will you keep it on this time? Let's see. Let's see how long it lasts. You got your hands on and you're thinking about it. Josh so sleepy. He's like, I'm gonna have the energy to take it off right now. It's, it's nap time. Is it nap time? <laughs> How you doing this morning? Hey, like, I'm ready to get this going. She's like, y'all are late. And yes, we are this morning. Oh, there the hat goes. Why you take the hat off? Why you take the hat off? Take this off. You taking the hat off? Provides some of our food. Yes, she does. Her milk does. Yeah. Micah asked me what my favorite farm animal was, and I said the cow. And I, I said, well, what's your favorite farm animal? And he said the cow. I was like, really? I was like, you really don't even go here to her. And he goes, yeah, because she gives us milk. And I was like, oh. I was like, you like milk. 
so much that now the cow is your favorite animal here on the farm. I was like, that's pretty funny. <laughs> you probably would agree with your brother, wouldn't you? Because you like the milk too, don't you? You do? You like it? You like your sleepy time. Is it sleepy time? Is it sleepy time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's coming off again. Now oh, he's tough. You gotta keep it on. Let's keep it on. Keep it on. We first got our cow here, Aunt May. I was really reluctant about bringing Hezekiah along during the milking. Uh, just because we were all getting used to each other and I didn't want him <laughs> risk getting him getting hurt at all But now she's she's just part of the family now. We all like her. We all like her. She likes us. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes Give her some in this red bag conditioner here. You about to sleep yet? You just comfortable? Just hanging out right here. Feel good. Like the baby, he likes to be outside even when it's cold. It's good to be outside. Some time ago, I learned something that you may think is pretty crazy, but I think it's pretty neat. And that is that the Norwegians, they'll actually take their babies and leave them outside to take a nap in the cold while they're doing their grocery shopping and running inside to get coffee or whatever it is that they do. And they do that because, well, one, it's safe, but primarily they do that so that way that the babies have exposure to the cold as well as fresh air. Yep, and it helps the babies, they believe, to be stronger and more vigorous. So you're gonna be like the Norwegian babies. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cold exposure is good for adults too. Mike likes to take the cold showers, which I don't like to do, but I like getting up early in the morning whenever it's cold and going for a walk. It's like 28 degrees and I'm out here doing my shiver walk. And you may be wondering why in the world would you want to be doing that, Lacey? Well, I started doing these a couple years ago, and they really help with inflammation, reducing inflammation, for waking up your mind in the morning, it feels like, and having more sustained energy all day long. But also, it boosts your immune system to expose yourself to cold. And there's a lot more benefits. Those are just a few. But after having Hezekiah, I got out of the practice of walking in the mornings, mainly because I was healing up and then I just never got back into it. So I've been doing shiver walks in the morning and I learned a lot of this from my friend Holistic Hilda, Hilda Labrador. 
and she has some great podcasts on why you should expose yourself to cold and what all the health benefits are. Once you get out here, it's not so bad. I mean, I'm in tank top and sandals, as you know. And if you can't do in a tank top, if you need to have a layer on, just try going for a walk with one less layer. That is Hilda's uh, suggestion. So it's my suggestion too. Just try to go with one less layer. It's definitely chilly out here, but I'm warming up with every step that I take. Hey, Boo Boo, you want some? You want a bite? You want a bite? Are you too tired for a bite? Wow. It's hard to believe you're almost a year old. You're 11 months old. That is. That's pretty crazy. To see all the things that you've been progressing in. Yes. I remember when you were just learning how to crawl and gradually trying to scoot around and get around everywhere. And now it's like you've mastered it. You can get around pretty fast. You're getting into all kinds of places. Hey, speedy. <laughs> And lately you've been working on, well, you've been working on this for a while now. Standing up, you can even squat down. It's Kai. Come here. Come here, boo boo. Come on. No. Hello. <laughs> oh. Kissing my hand. Are you kissing me? <laughs> Are you trying to eat him? Oh. You're trying to eat me? <laughs> oh, he's kidding me. He's kidding me. Oh. I think you're done eating. I think so. It's been neat to see all the cute things he's doing now and his personality coming out and he's been he's been standing for some time now. Yes, you want mommy? But now he's like doing things without hanging on to anything. He'll even squat down with no with no hands hanging on. And he's yeah. even been walking pretty good lately. Oh yeah. Come here. Look at you. You almost walked. Look at you. And he's he's got the strength, but it's like he's building up his confidence. He's like he'll start walking a little bit, for, and then he's like, all right, I gotta sit down. I don't know, maybe he's building up his endurance too. But I think he's like right there at being able to walk totally. <laughs> Are you shocked about that? You shocked yourself, huh? <laughs> Silly boy. He is a stinker. Yes. And he's been talking a lot more lately as well. For for a while now, he, he, he's been able to say dad, dad. That was the first thing he was really saying. But now he's saying say mama. mama. Can he he say, say mama? Say mama. Say mama. He's like, I'm not going to perform for you guys. <laughs> oh, he'll also say bye bye. You say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> he say bye bye. <laughs> say bye bye. Bye. He'll wave too. He'll wave when it's bye bye, and he'll also wave when it's. Can you, I mean, he can just you wave? wave and say hi. Can you wave? But he'll also say nur. <laughs> he wants the nur. He's like, nur, nur. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Boo. <laughs> and he does kind of like to be on camera. <laughs> boo. He likes to be pink and boo too. <laughs> I know some people are, are probably doing? like, are you going to keep nursing that baby until he's like a teenager? Not a teenager. Not a teenager. <laughs> Feed the baby some real food. <laughs> Breast milk is the best real food he could have. That's right. That's right. And for most of our history, human beings, most people, most cultures, most people really nurse their babies until like three and some even four and five years oh, yeah. old it's that's definitely wasn't unusual to happen 
I nursed all of my kids so far until they're three and he doesn't seem like he's slowing down very much in the nursing department. So I'm thinking we'll probably go to three with him too. Yeah. And some cultures would even have a special ceremony for when the child would be waned. And one of those examples is, is in the Bible when Isaac was being weaned. It was it was a special ceremony. It was held, held around that time. And with him showing more of his personality, it's neat to see him doing other things like laughing now. And even exercising along with us. Oh, and also dancing. Dance, look at those dance moves. <laughs> Do the hip hop too? Do the hip hop? <laughs> it's neat to see that he's already appreciating music. He's bopping his head and oh, and even playing things like the glockenspiel. Yeah. He wants to try. <laughs> Come on, have a try. What you doing? <laughs> hey. Uh, what is that? <laughs> what? Whoa. What? What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? Go to daddy. Oh. As much as he enjoys nursing, he also enjoys eating real food, I guess we should say. Now the first couple times he tried real food, he wasn't too excited about it and made some really good faces, which we found funny, but I don't think he did. <laughs> some more. <laughs> you want some you more? some cheese there? You want some more? You gonna eat some of that? Come want on. some more? You gonna eat it? Want some more? <laughs> He's like, get it in there, mommy. <laughs> Is it yummy? You like that? like that. Some more. Oh man. Do you like that? You do. Looks like you like that, don't you? <laughs> we just had to get our own cow <laughs> to make our own cheese for him to eat stuff that he likes. Just for you, Hezekiah. Is that stuff good? <laughs> <laughs> man. Yummy, 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 yummy. Give me some more. Yummy, 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 yummy. You like it? So you said that cheese is from our cow? How'd you make that cheese? Yeah, it's uh, called, well, cottage cheese or farmer cheese. And it's really easy to make. And uh, he seems to like it. You want some more? Hey, boo boo. You want some? Uh, he's like, give it to me. Put it in my mouth. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, you want some more? Here. You want some more? He's like, thank you. 
And I've really enjoyed being able to make all these things for him from milk from right here on our farm. You know, some people think it's drudgery to go milk every single day, but I've really enjoyed it. And I enjoy the milking process. Uh, you bring it in and you strain it and you let it chill and then you separate it. And you take that separated cream and you know I love it for my coffee that's like a number one but a close second is butter and butter making butter is really not as difficult as you might think especially with a mixer I just pour my cream in and start whipping it to make whipped cream And one tip for you is to take plastic wrap and cover the top of your mixer and the, and the bowl so your cream doesn't go flying out. Because the first time I made butter, the like cream was flying and I had to take a towel and cover it up. But if you just take a piece of plastic and put it on there, there's a lot less mess. Then, just whip it until it turns into whipping cream. Now this last time I made butter, <laughs> I got to the whipped cream stage and Hezekiah was crawling on the floor so I thought I would offer him some whipped cream which he has never had. And I have to say, I think he liked it. Oh, you want some whipped cream? <gasps> oh, is that good stuff? Whoa! Whoa! You want some more? How is it? Is it good? Once your cream is all whipped up, you're just gonna let it keep on going. Cause then it's gonna start to separate. And you'll know it's separated into butter whenever you start hearing all this sloshing going on in your mixer bowl. From there, you just drain off the liquid, which is actually buttermilk. And you can make buttermilk biscuits, pancakes, and you can do lots of things with buttermilk. Then my butter, I take and put in another bowl, because I'm usually making a double batch of butter. And I add more cream to my mixer and just follow the same process. And then when all of my butter is made, and I've drained off all my buttermilk, then you start washing the butter. And I know that sounds really strange, but you wanna get all the buttermilk out of your butter. So you take ice water, Pour it over the top and start running your spoon through to get all of that buttermilk out of there. And this takes a couple washes, but it being cold, it makes all the butter stay together. So you just pour off the water, add some more ice water, and keep mashing and getting all of that out. And once it runs clear, you know you've washed it enough times. So you pour that out and kind of keep pressing the butter to get all that water out of there. From there, I like to take my butter and form it into little logs or there's all kinds of silicone molds and things, but this is just how I do it to make it easy here in the kitchen for me. Take a piece of plastic wrap, spoon out my butter on top of the plastic wrap, roll it up, and then roll it back and forth, and it kind of turns it into a log. And then when I'm done 
with all of my butter. I put it on a tray and stick it in the freezer for it to harden up. And this is what it looks like whenever I'm totally done. Now I can take the plastic wrap off and store it in the fridge in the container, or I can just leave it like that. And it's ready to be put on warm bread and tastes so good. Some time ago, I learned that. What? What did you learn? <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna, oh! <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Say on King Kong! Are you eating? What are you? Stop that! Ooh, stream! <laughs> you, do you love her? Are you eating her up? 